Why is it that whenever Call of Duty makes four steps forwards, they always take seven steps back? At the same time, why does the gaming community always complain that they want something better, they want this, they want that, but when they're finally given what they're given, they cannot accept it and cannot roll with it? Just to give you guys a quick example, remember back in the Call of Duty era when everybody wanted futuristic movement and then we finally got futuristic movement and then little does everybody know after playing with futuristic movement for two games, they're always like, oh, I want boots on the ground now, give us back to boots on the ground, myself included. It's like the only games that can actually succeed and thrive these days are single player games because A, we know that single player games, they can't just release a patch after the game has came out to fix and alleviate the issues that have come off and they can't release a half finished unbaked game with a single player game. They have to release a finished product. But B, especially with Call of Duty's sake, why can't we just get a game that is finished and a game that is playable to the point where you can play the same type of game, the same game for years to come. We see this with League of Legends, we saw this with Overwatch 1, Minecraft for goodness sake, like we don't see a Minecraft 2 pretty much ever coming out for this foreseeable future, Fortnite, why can't we just get a game that is called Call of Duty or even Warzone and just have that be the main game for years to come? Why don't we just get tons of brand new content for this single game? You know why? It's because nobody is ever happy with what we're given because A, well I'm just going to alleviate all you guys who are trying to comment this right now, it's because what we're given is pretty much for the most part complete garbage, you know they've released good stuff in the past and then the second version of that game comes out Warzone 2 it's not a bad game by, by any means I love Warzone 2 but they just go back on what they've added like I believe when Warzone 2 first came out so for example the best thing that they've added was for you to be able to buy your primary weapon from a loadout drop or sorry from a buy station but then they also didn't even allow you to purchase a loadout drop from the buy station so it's like they've added something new just to take it back away this is probably one of the dumbest things most hypocritical things I have probably ever said but I think we should just be happy with what we're given all right that's it that's it that's all the hate coming in now it's the, basically the exact same thing as saying let's be happy with garbage let's just go fishing fish out a tin can and say hey i caught a bass even though i caught a tin can right like of course the player number numbers are dropping of course the game is not at all what it used to be like for pete's sake we've gotten one weapon balancing change since the game has come out right like they really don't seem to care anymore but why should this be an issue right hear me out why should this be an issue because when Apex and Titanfall were out, when Apex especially was out, yes, they were making balancing changes to the game, but did you ever see someone not running a Wingman Peacekeeper when that game first came out or an R99, R301, R9, PK? Like, this goes completely against saying use whatever you want to use and don't use meta weapons, but if they're not going to balance out the meta, if this KV broadside shotgun is going to be completely overpowered for like the next month and a half, let's just enjoy to use it. Let's just have a good time absolutely massacring noobs with something that's overpowered with something that we know is not that skillful to use but with something that should be fixed within the future why don't we just have a good time using it right like why don't we enjoy the bugs and enjoy what is wrong with something until hey maybe eventually it does get fixed if not we still have a good time using it and once it does get fixed if that is the case since we did have a good time essentially we're just gonna miss it right like if this new shotgun or heaven forbid if they nerf the crossbow you can take that with two sides. If everybody enjoys using something that's overpowered and it's essentially fun to use that, even though it is a little bit unskilled, you could either come at it with, thank goodness they nerfed that, thank goodness nobody is running around with it anymore, which is obviously a good thing, you know, we want to use it, we want to use that is, by all means, the best goal that could come out of this. But at the same time, you could also look at it like, well, I had this much fun using this overpowered, unbelievably broken weapon for this such amount of time. It sucks to see it leave, but at the end of the day, I am happy to see it leave. There are two sides of this table that I want everybody to see because yes while I am on your side I do believe that using overpowered pieces of garbage is, it's just ruining the game for sure it's ruining the game why did we get trios or quads and we didn't even get solos duos or trios at the beginning why don't even we even have trios for resurgence that's way beyond me why do they even take out solos but at the end of the day you can either be salty about something and you'll be happy that it's gone or you can just enjoy the nonsense while it's here and still be happy when it is gone that is the part that I want you guys to take away from this well I don't want you to believe that I'm saying you know I love everything that's broken I think the game is unbelievable in its playable state right now I think they're doing a great job by not addressing or even reviewing our feedback because that would just be so so stupid of me to say but I think as gamers we always have another game to play there's always another option for us to play and enjoy but if you are going to stick with the same game 
game that is having issues with it, don't complain, but just enjoy. Because at the end of the day, A, it'll boost your mood as an overall human being, but B, it will allow you to appreciate what you have in front of you. Even if it might not be the best, it'll allow you to appreciate and make the most and the best out of any situation that you are given. Thank you guys so much for watching. If for whatever reason you didn't enjoy this video, leave a like down below and I will see you guys later. Peace out.